Time to vote for April's Ride of the Month. Vote A for David Mullins' determined effort aboard Al Boom Photo at Fairy House. Tracking the leaders from the start, the pair travelled well until a crashing leap through the seventh fence seemed to dent their confidence. Another untidy jump two fences later saw the pair lose more ground. But Mullins kept his charge in contention and with a strong drive in the closing stages, powered to the front to land the Ryanair Gold Cup. Vote B for Katie O'Farrell's patient ride on Low Sun at Fairy House. Shadowing the leaders, O'Farrell had her mount up the pace. On the final circuit, the pair seemed to be working harder than their rivals, and a victory looked less and less likely. O'Farrell, however, had different ideas, and approaching the last, they finally found their stride and raced away to victory. Charlie's no true self. Yahaf is right against the rail. Mary to be and Low Sun just in behind. Provella Long is next. They're coming down to the final flight. And it's on the near side. Charlie Stout from Yahaf is. Low Sun towards the inside. Then comes through Self at the final flight. Now Low Sun getting a run through against the rail leads. Through Self's the faller. So too Ness and Dorma in the lead as they go towards the line. Low Sun and Katie O'Farrell striding on will win it for Willie Mullins. Vote C for Josephine Gordon's front-running ride on Mrs. Gallagher at Bath. Quickly out of the gates, Gordon's mount pulled to the front of the pack. Travelling through halfway, it looked like the pair would pay the price for their earlier exertions as the field started to close. But Gordon was in no mood to be denied and the pair fought back to regain the lead and secure the win. Mrs. Gallagher has been swallowed up now as Yolo Star and Mrs. Danvers challenge either side. Quench Dolly's coming into it. Justice Lady and Mabs Cross is making headway from the rear with Neola running on right down the outside. It's Mrs. Gallagher boxing on with Yolo Star, Mabs Cross, and moving into fourth on the inside is Maria Leon. Mrs. Gallagher's rally bravely. Mrs. Gallagher. Vote D for Derek O'Connor's last gasp effort on Lone Wolf at Punchestown. Held up towards the rear of the field, O'Connor had his mount switched off for much of the race. The pair started to make progress turning for home, but with the leaders getting first run on them, the victory seemed unlikely. O'Connor never gave up, and the pair got into full flight within the final furlong and managed to get their head in front in the shadow of the post. Racing towards the last furlong, all for joy in the lead. From you raise me up, Lone Wolf, Buntley House next with boot camp. They're inside the last 200 yards, and it's all for joy from Lone Wolf. And as they run up towards the finish, all for joy, Lone Wolf is closing with every stride. And it is Lone Wolf on the near side of all for joy. Boat E for Cam Hardy's well timed ride aboard Beat by Beat by Beat at Wolverhampton. Missing the break from the wide outside, Hardy manoeuvred his mount to the rail at the back of the pack. Turning for home, the pair still had plenty of ground to make up. Hardy, using all his experience, found a gap in the closing stages and, seeing daylight, a late swoop saw them score a cosy success. Beat by beat by beat, leaving it very late indeed. It's a three-way go on the far side. Mr. Frankie flying home on the near side. Beat by beat by beat, very tight indeed. Vote now for April's Ride of the Month and be in with a chance to win a £50 funded account courtesy of Paddy Power. Visit www.attheraces.com forward slash 